Everyone's talking about Nano Banana, but does it deliver designs that are good enough for POD? Or is Ideogram still the clear winner? Let's find out. So for our side-by-side -side comparison, we first need some prompts. So let's first get some design examples. Let's just go to the bestsellers tab right here. And of course, let's enter banana. Here we go. We got some bananas. No, that's funny. Uh, let's scroll down right here. Boonana. Okay. This one combines the niches banana and Halloween. So let's download it right here. And let's go back to the bestsellers. So let's remove this and just click on... No, let's first click on sorting by BSR. Click on search. Let's see. Here's a different banana. This banana is wearing sunglasses and playing baseball. And it's in this dripping style. I don't really know why that's popular right now. Please write it down in the comments if you know more. So let's also download this one. And let's see what we got. We got bananas. Okay. It's only a text design. I know this apple right here. Let's see. I want to pick a design that includes a graphic and a phrase. Okay. That's great right here. On my worst behavior. That's quite funny. So let's download this and here we go. So to get the prompts and give them a twist, I would typically first go to Ideogram to convert this design into a prompt. But since this should be a fair comparison, I will use a different AI for the prompt generation. So we use ChatGPT. So here we are in ChatGPT and I just uploaded the first design. And then I use this very simple prompt. Give me the prompt of this image so that it can be used in an AI art generator. So I don't even specify the AI art generator. I just keep it very general. So let's hit generate. And here we go. We got the prompt. And let's get the prompts for the other designs too. Now let's keep it very simple. Just upload the design and write now for this. Press enter. Here we go. We got the prompt. And our Oktoberfest Wurst. Now for this. Enter and here we go. So to easily remove the background, I want to have the designs on a dark gray background. And I keep this very simple. So I just prompt now give me all three prompts again. But instead of a black background, I need the designs on a dark gray background. Hit enter and here we go. So now we got the prompts and now let's generate them side by side. All right, here we have our two competitors. On the left side, we got Google's Nano Banana, and on the right side, we got Ideogram. So you can see that Nano Banana has a way more simplified interface. And I clicked on the icon that said Nano Banana, but this looks more like a ChatGPT chat. But okay, let's see. On the other hand, we got the interface of Ideogram. You can see the generations right here, and then you can do your settings. Now let's start with the first prompt. Now this is our ghost banana that says Boo Nana. Just paste it in right here, and let's paste it into Ideogram, just like that. And let's hit run right here and generate on Ideogram. And now it's generating. All right, Nano Banana is already done. And Ideogram is also done. Here we go. Now let's check them side by side. Here we go. Now it's a bit big. Now let's zoom out a bit. Here we go. And the Ideogram version. Here we go. Okay, so Nano Banana gave us this ghost banana. That's quite creative. And we only get one generation from Nano Banana. The font is way different. Let's check out the other versions from Ideogram. Yeah, as expected, they are quite similar. Boo Nana. Boo Nana. I actually like the first one or the last one the best. Let's pick the first one. So even though it's literally the same prompt, we get the twist right here. So Google turned this banana into a ghost. Uh, you get some small mistakes right here in the details. But overall, this is quite a nice design. On the other hand, we got the Ideogram design. And the style is more simple. It's more in this cartoon vector art style. And the style of the banana and the ghost looks more textured. As you can see right here, I hope you can see it. And here we got this more simplified style on Ideogram. So we don't have the ghost on Ideogram. But what we do have is this font right here from the word. And this font fits way, way better than this font from Nano Banana. So I like the ghost from Nano Banana, but I don't like the font right here. And on Ideogram, I like the font more than on the Google version. So if we would combine the graphic from Google and the font from Ideogram, it would be a perfect design. But these are both great designs. And let's quickly check out the prompt. Yeah, it says illustration of a peeled banana with the fruit shaped like a ghost. So it specifically says ghost. 
And we got the ghost right here. And we don't really have the ghost on the ideogram version. But ideogram understood that this is a Halloween design. So it picked the right font for Halloween design. Now let's try the next prompt. So we got the cool banana baseball trip. Let's just paste it right here and an ideogram. And we let it generate and generate an ideogram. Now let's see the time comparison. Let's do this in real time without cuts. And here we go. Google is finished. And ideogram is also finished. Now let's take a look. Yeah, this looks nice. Now let's see it side by side with the ideogram version. Yeah, this also looks nice. Now let's check the other versions. Yeah, the banana get a nose right here. Third version looks also nice. And the last version also really nice. I can't really decide. These are all great. So if you really want to save credits on ideogram, just generate one or two or maybe even three images at max. So the result from Nano Banana is awesome and the results from ideogram are also awesome. But I noticed a clear difference. Now if I go through these generations right here, you can see that every design has a clear hard outline and that makes it really easy to remove the background on these designs. Yeah, I think the last one is the best. You don't really have a clear outline on this design from Nano Banana, but as I can see it right here, it shouldn't be that hard to remove the background from this design. So these generations are both awesome, but Ideogram is just a little bit better in my opinion. Now let's check out the last design. So let's close it right here and let's copy the prompt and paste it right here. And let's also paste it right here in Ideogram. Now let's hit run in Nano banana and in ideogram and here we go. Now it's doing its magic. And let's see who's the winner right here. And it's done on nano banana and on ideogram. So the generation is a bit faster than nano banana. But of course it only gives us one image. So let's take a look. We got the worst right here. This looks nice. But I don't know if you can really see that. The graphic has this texture effect. I don't know why. And this effect is also on the font right here. So let's click on the results from ideogram. Yeah, here we go. On my worst behavior. Now this worst is in full lederhosen. And he looks meaner in this image. So let's check out the other versions from ideogram. Yeah, this is nice. You got the Bavarian flag in the background. Let's see the prompt if that was included. Nope, I can't see it. It only says Bavarian Oktoberfest clothing, including green lederhosen and a green alpine hat. So let's check the other versions. Yeah, quite similar, but really, really nice. And this one is way different on my worst behavior. Great. Yeah, it's always really hard to decide a winner in ideogram, <laughs> but I like this Bavarian background right here. I wouldn't pick the first one, but I would either pick the second one or the third one. Yeah, and the last one is also really nice. So let's see. Yeah, I would pick the third one. So this is the design with the whole phrase on it. Like the first one was only one word. And when you take a look at the complete design from Nano Banana, it doesn't really look that comprehensive. Because as in our first example, the font doesn't really fit the design. And also we got these empty spots right here on the design. And they don't really look that good. I don't really like these. And also if you take a look at the details, you can see that the worst is not really holding these glasses. And of course I must admit, Ideogram had the same issue in the past. But as you can see it's solved right now. He's really holding these glasses. But this is just a minor detail. So I really like the graphic on Nano Banana. But what I don't like is the selection of the font and these empty spots right here. They just don't look that good. So Ideogram is a clear winner right here in my opinion. Please write it down in the comments what you think about that. It selected a really nice font. You get a clear hard outline on the font and also on the graphic. And Ideogram filled these empty spots with this Bavarian flag. So you can see that Ideogram really gets the idea what we need as a POD seller. Yeah, and also we got the result in the square format from Nano Banana. And on Ideogram we got the design in this tall rectangle shape. And that's what we want because then naturally we get a bigger font which is easier to read on mobile. So here are the total results side by side. On the top we got the results from Nano Banana and underneath we got the results from Ideogram 3.0. And don't get me wrong, the results from Nano Banana are still great, but there are certain aspects where Ideogram is just still better. Well, you could argue with the first design, but on the second and the third design, Ideogram is the winner in my opinion. And what I also didn't like about Nano Banana is the fact that we couldn't set an aspect ratio for these images. 
So you can see that the first two are in this tall rectangle shape, so that's quite good. But the last one is more in this square format. And since we could set the aspect ratio in Idogram, all of these generations are in a tall rectangle format. And also the words are easier to read on the Idogram versions. And when you take a look at the second generation right here on this dripping banana, you can see that it's more in the sticker style and it's less detailed than the version from Nano Banana. And this just works better on t-shirts, especially for our shoppers with the mobile phone. So in my opinion, Idogram is still the king of POD designs. Now if you want to see a full tutorial on how to use Idogram for great POD designs, then check out this video right here.